okay good evening all let us start good evening. so this is the question find the integral cos z by z dz the contour c4 contour contour is mod z equal to 1 so what is the meaning of that mod z equal to 1 you can compare it z minus z0 equal to r so radius is 1 z0 means origin origin is 0 okay so this circle is known as unit circle unit circle means radius is unit so your contour is like this if you draw on the argand plane so this is the or origin and here it will be i here it will be minus i because unit is one for minus i also this also it will be one it will be minus one understood so this is your unit circle and he told that it is the counterclockwise so this is your c this is your contour on this contour you have to move your function and get the integration this is the meaning of that okay so how to start it here function is cos z by z again actually we have to find out the residue simple okay so cos z by z uh, just uh, expand the cos z taylor's reach 1 minus z square by 2 plus z to the power 4 by factorial 4 this is factorial 2 minus z to the power 6 by factorial 6 plus dot 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 like this and divide by z okay so now you can compare which term will give you the coefficient of 1 by z this term so from here b1 will be b1 is the residue 1 so integral close integral cos z by z z dz will be 2 pi i into residue residue is 1 so answer is 2 pi i okay note down this easy question Okay. Uh, next question is just to give you idea whether you know the basic or not. You have to find integral one upon z minus z naught dz over the contour c. Okay. over the contour number a here contour is given like this contour is a circle and here z0 is the origin okay so contour is this over this contour you have to find out integral what is integral number b contour is like this and z0 point is over the surface or over the line of this contour and c question is this this is your contour and z0 point is here so tell me the answer in different different see here here because pole is what to get the pole, put denominator equal to 0. So, z equal to z0 is the pole. Okay, this is simple pole. So, this z0 is inside the point. 
Z0 is inside the circuit inside the contour okay and one more thing actually this is simple series i have given so this is what is coefficient of 1 upon z minus z0 here one so here residue will be coefficient of 1 upon z minus z0 in lorentz series that was my definition so that is one only so answer will be integral will be 2 pi i into residue residue is one so answer is 2 pi i so this will be for a now for b because the pole is at surface of contour okay and here also because uh, that is residue is same residue equal to one so integral will be here in place of in place of uh, 2 pi i it will be pi i into residue so pi i into 1 answer is pi i this is the case here pole is outside so we will not consider the pole so integral will be 0 so simply three type of answer you will get if contour is different okay and if any one of them contour is clockwise if contour is clockwise suppose d question i am giving you uh, for the a contour is this direction clockwise direction and everything is same so then your i will be minus of 2 pi i okay so these are the four situation in which answer will be different different so note down this also. So now I will change the variety of question. Okay. Different variety of question. Okay. Uh, almost all are there. Okay. So uh, there is one message for you all. Uh, uh, so when is your this net exam date is fixed or not three dates are given sir starting from 29 okay so in which date it will be don't know okay actually uh, see uh, whatever you have prepared understood you go through all uh, because all the theory is also important for you uh, at this stage. Understood? Uh, theory also you cover and uh, problems also you can practice and uh, the synopsis what I will give you, you, you uh, go through that also and attend this question, uh, question paper uh, this time. But after that, after that, uh, during the next six months, what you have to do you have to attend the test series online test series are available in uh, uh, many centers you can uh, apply for that because that will give you the uh, same scenario of the examination understood so one by one topic because test series is like that one uh, one topic you finish attend that test series for that topic suppose classical mechanics you finish after that immediately attend the test series of classical mechanics then emt then mathematical like this once you finish all nine then combined test will be there okay uh, that will be replica of the uh, csr net exam so five tests will be there for that also so that will give you the same scenario and same three hours and in that part a part b part c all will be available okay so for success of any exam test series is must that i am telling you understood so but this time i will not suggest you to go there because uh, this is a uh, time taking thing understood it will take around three to four months if you want to complete the test series okay so for this time you can leave that whatever you prepared you can uh, sit in the exam with that only understood but from the next exam you have to complete the test series understood Test series will give you the good idea and more and more old year questions you have to solve. Understood? 
because it is like this the uh, things are very big if you want to take the burden this time for everything you will get unnecessary tension and uh, confusion okay so don't indulge in that because this study should be joyful understood whatever you can how much you can because everybody has got different different capability by the god so we cannot blame anybody that he is so, so much uh, intelligent or less intelligent but everybody can cross the exam okay somebody can slow so continuous continuous slow study is also good there is no issue in that understood so you continue the study go for test is go, go for all dear exam that will give you good confidence and whenever the your knowledge is uh, up to the mark so then you will clear all the exam not only the net exam you can apply some scientist exam some other phd other other exam also so many exams are there so you attend all in which you fit you will clear that understood so there you will get success so don't run only one thing okay so like this you can prepare so i also have one test series if someone want i will send on whatsapp there is no issue but uh, my suggestion is uh, start it after your exam okay for the next exam you prepare for the uh, test series because in test series one by one topic you have to do because it is like a uh, one truck of sugar you have to eat but in single day or in one month you cannot eat it okay but slowly slowly if your capacity is uh, to take just 10 a spoon daily so then go for that only be comfortable enjoy the study and continuously do the study so in one year you can finish even the complete truck of that sugar also like this you can think understood so don't take extra burden whatever you can do do that much but enjoy the study so then you will not get any tension or burden so like this if continuously for a long time you are doing the study so a big amount of uh, knowledge you will gain and when your knowledge is up you can cross so many exams understood so this would be your strategy okay so let us come back to our question so after giving the exam you can ask me uh, i will send uh, i because i have complete test series for all topics also for uh, uh, full length test also that i will send you after the exam because this time i i don't want to give you burden so you can ask me any time i will send you once you are prepared okay so let us take different question here you have to find integral cos z and this year three exams will be there you know it okay so you continuously prepare and try to finish this year so this integral you have to find this is the contour given here they have given the pi i is the origin here but it is inside the contour so this uh, and it is looking that here pole is also this understood so you can apply two method here once you can get the you can get the lorentz series also or you can apply the sorry here power 2 power 2 so here put denominator equal to 0 so z equal to pi i is pole of order 2 understood so i told you one method when pole of order n so then you can find out the residue residue at z equal to pi i what is the formula for that residue will be limit z tend to pi i 1 upon factorial n minus 1 differentiation n minus 1 of z minus z 0 to the power n into 
FZ. This was one formula. Understood? Yesterday only we have written this. So this formula you can utilize if pole of order n. So in place of n it is two. So I can apply it. Limit z n to pi i one upon factorial one only two minus one one and this is d by d z only. So z minus z zero means z minus pi i into f z. F z is cos z divided by z sorry this is z uh, z minus pi i to the power n so power 2 so this is also power 2 so this will be cancelled and differentiation of cos z we can directly write so this will be limit z tending to pi i d by dz of cos z is minus sin z and in that you can uh, put the value pi i so that will be minus of sin pi i Okay, so what is the answer for pi i? Can anybody tell? Yes, i sine hyperbolic pi. So that is the answer. Okay, so this method is also uh, sometimes easy to use. Okay, otherwise simply you can use here uh, another method also. So Many method I have uh, taught you. So anyone you can use, which one you are comfortable and you will get the answer. Note down this quickly. If you are doing same question with many methods, so your skill will be developed. And this teaching and learning the knowledge is not just for a net exam or get exam, mind it. If you are getting some skill, you are getting some good knowledge, so it will be useful for your whole life. You are gaining something, so definitely your life will change. Understood? So like that you have to think it. Done? Yes, sir. Okay, suppose same question I want to do in another way, uh, miss by Lorentz series method. So for Lorentz series method, just uh, I need the series for Fz. Here Fz is cos Z by this much. Okay, now I know that my contour is about the origin. Origin is pi i. Pi i is the origin. Okay, so and pole is here, pole is z equal to pi i. So we need series in term of z minus pi i only. We need Lorentz series. in terms of z minus pi i. So secure it. And how to secure? Put z minus pi i equal to t. Then it will be secured. Then uh, you will not uh, break the t. OK, this is the main motto to put it here. So put z minus pi i equal to t. So z will be t plus pi i. So put it there. So Fz will be cos t plus pi i divided by t square. Simple. So it will be 1 by t square and cos t plus pi i will become cos t cos pi i minus sin t sin pi i. Now, uh, cos pi i and sin pi i will be remaining like this only, but cos t and sin t you can uh, expand in series. So it will become 1 by t square uh, cos pi i into cos t will be how much? 
वन माइनस टी स्क्वायर बाई फैक्टोरियल टू प्लस टी फोर बाई फैक्टोरियल फोर माइनस डो 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 डन माइनस साइन पाई आई इन टू टी माइनस टी क्यूब बाई फैक्टोरियल थ्री प्लस टी टू दी पावर फाइव बाई फैक्टोरियल फाइव प्लस डो 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 ओके नाउ नाउ दिस इज द कंप्लीट सीरीज दिस इज द कंप्लीट सीरीज लोरेट सीरीज नाउ बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट द रेजिड्यू एंड रेजिड्यू इज कोफिशेंट ऑफ वन बाई टी सो फ्रॉम वेयर आई विल गेट वन बाई टी कैन एनी बी टेल फ्रॉम विच टर्म आई विल गेट वन बाई टी सो जस्ट माई मेन मोटो इज टू गेट द रेजिड्यू सो रेजिड्यू विल बी बी वन दैट विल बी फ्रॉम दिस टर्म आई विल गेट वन बाई टी Understood. This t square when I divide in all the term, so this term will give me one by t. And what is the coefficient of one by t? Minus sine pi. Minus sine pi pi. So this is the residue. Okay. Now integral will be. Two pi i into minus sine pi i. So sine pi i can be written as minus i hyperbolic. It can be written as minus two uh, pi i into it will be i sine hyperbolic pi. So i i will become minus. So minus minus will become plus. So answer will be two pi i. Sorry, not not i. Two pi sine hyperbolic So this is the answer of the integral. And in the earlier method also, we just have find out the residue. So this was the residue, and here integral will become two pi i into minus i. Sine hyperbolic pi, and that will be two pi sine hyperbolic pi. Okay, note down this. Done. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next question is find integral z to power four three z square plus six divided by Z plus i whole cube. Okay, and contour is given like this. This is the contour, and point. This point is minus i. So minus i is inside. Here pole is. Here. First of all, f z will be z to power four minus three z square plus six divided by z plus i whole cube. Okay, and pole will be z equal to minus i is pole of order three. So which method I will use to find out residue? So residue I can find by limit z tend to minus i. Into one upon factorial 
n minus 1 n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 factorial into d to the power n minus 1 means d to the power 2 divided by dz to the power 2 directly i am doing you can remember it okay into z minus z0 z0 is minus i so z minus z0 will be z plus i to the power n z my sorry plus i to the power 3 into fz fz is this complete z to the power 4 minus 3 z square plus 6 divided by z plus i to the power 3 so this to this cancel now double differentiation we have to do for this so it will become limit z tend to minus i 1 by 2 it is uh one differentiation i will do it will become 4 z cube minus 6 z limit z tend to minus i 1 by 2 so differentiate it it will become 12 z square minus 6 and divide by 2 so 6 z square minus 3 and put z equal to i so it will become minus because minus i square is sorry uh, minus i square also minus so that will be minus 6 sorry minus 3 now this will become minus 3 this is minus 9 so like this you can find residue so integral will be 2 pi i because this pole is inside the contour so definitely that you have to check So two pi i into minus nine. So my answer is minus eighteen pi i. Note down this. okay now uh, i will take one example because sometime you need, need to take some uh, adjustment also so those adjust adjustment question i will do uh, because here you have seen in the denominator this is simply z plus i or z plus 1 z plus 2 like this so z is simple only sometimes some multiplication will be there with z some 4z 2z like this so then remember in such cases you have to clear the z means if 4z is there so from out of this complete take the 4 common outside and that you put here and in the answer finally you can put that understood so z you, i want just in single mul uh, multiplied with one only means single coefficient so i will take one example of that suppose there is a question find integral sin z divided by 2z minus pi dz and here z is equal to 2 so first of all what is the meaning of this meaning of this is this is a circle here what is the origin 0 what is the radius 2 so if i draw the argand plane so this will be 2i point and this will be 2 point this will be minus 2i point this will be 2 minus 2 sorry so on the argand plane i can draw it like this and uh, they have given that it is anti clockwise so <clears throat> how to solve this so this will create a problem understood so what you need to do here just take <clears throat> see what the student make the mistake they put it equal to zero directly and z will be pi by 2 definitely this is the pole but answer will be different answer will be wrong 
if you go as per this understood then you will find out the uh, residue and directly you will do 2 pi i into residue but answer is wrong so that's why i am telling you whenever this type of situation is there just clear this z and how to clear this z you just take two common from here so that will be 1 by 2 outside and then it will become sin z by z minus pi by 2 so now my z is cleared coefficient is only 1 so then you can proceed so from here also i am getting the pole z equal to pi by 2 only but answer will be different and this answer only is accepted okay so my answer is suppose like this uh, 1 by 2 into 2 pi i that you can write already into residue that will be my answer understood here pole is z equal to pi by 2 and it is it is a simple pole and you have to check whether pi by 2 is lying in this circle or not so what is the value of pi 3.14 by 2 so that will be 1.5 something so 1.5 something will be somewhere here so yes it is lying so z0 is lying here so definitely you can find out the so here residue will be because it is a uh, simple pole so many method you can apply whether you uh, you can find out the uh, lorentz series method okay so that also will work so that will be simple so fz is sin z divided by z minus pi by 2 for that i am finding remember so uh, this is my new function now okay so secure z minus pi by 2 because i want series in term of that so z minus pi by 2 put equal to t so z plus pi by 2 will be sorry z will be t plus pi by 2 put it here it will become sin t plus pi by 2 divided by t so it will be sin t cos pi by 2 plus cos t sin pi by 2 divided by t this will be zero only this much is left because cos pi by 2 is zero so cos t series you can open cos uh, it will be sin pi by 2 into 1 by t of cos t series you can open cos t is uh, 1 minus t square by factorial 2 plus t4 by factorial 4 minus dot 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 okay so when you see you do 1 minus t so this term will give you the coefficient and that coefficient is so here residue will be b1 will be equal to sin pi by 2 and sin pi by 2 is 1 okay so this will be your residue so now put in the answer so i will be 1 by 2 into 2 pi i into 1 so answer is pi i okay if you go directly with that what the many student make mistake so then answer will be 2 pi i and that is wrong note down this so there are so many minute things you have to observe so that's why in complex analysis more and more practice you need then only you will be master of complex analysis and try to become the master of topics understood in the in the colleges also you will find that professor teach only hardly two or three topics but they are master in that and whole life they teach that only okay so you be master in 3 4 or 5 books whatever nobody can be master in all nine book but for example purpose you can read all that is different issue
ओके नाउ अगेन आई विल यूज द डिफरेंट वराइटी एंड दैट इज वेरी वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑफ नेट टू थाउजेंड इलेवन जून वट इज द क्वेश्चन फाइंड इंटीग्रल आई इक्वल टू दे समाइम दिस गिव गिव दिस डीज एड मीन्स इनिशियल इन एट द इनिशियल स्टेज सो डोंट वरी वेदर यू टेक इट हेयर और यू टेक इट हेयर यू मस्ट बी कंफर्टेबल ओनली दिस दे हैव गिवन इट मीन्स योर फंक्शन इज दिस मच so this dz should come here but they can give some time here also so no uh, no difference in that so this find this integral okay over the open contour over the open contour given as this is the imaginary line this is the real line and the contour they have given like this okay only this much this contour they are given this contour is c okay and it is touching at the point 10 this point is minus 10 this point is minus 10 and this point is 0 1 okay these are the points they have given okay so this type of question because we know the method for the complete contour but this is not complete contour understood so what we can do we can make it complete contour then solve the problem and then remove this portion this dotted portion because this dotted portion is not inside the contour only dark portion is the contour only this much is the contour so this type of question also come after one year means every alternate exam or uh, after two exam it repeats so but method is same you learn the method the same ditto method will be applied okay so what you can do oh, okay first i will give the uh, options options given are 5 by e plus e second option e minus 5 by e third option minus 5 by e minus e and fourth option is minus 5 by e this is plus this is minus minus e okay so now uh, first i will write we know the formula for complete contour whatever we have done up to now we know the formula only for complete contour but this is the incomplete contour or open contour so we know the formula for complete closed curve complete closed contour okay and what is that so so we can make it complete contour edge how we can make it you draw it again this is your real axis this is your imaginary axis and this was the contour given 
जीरो वन माइनस वन जीरो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इट स्टेप बाय स्टेप स्लोली एंड देन क्विकली यू कैन डू इट बिकॉज दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन ओके सो दिस वाज द कंटूर गिवन सो व्हाट आई हैव डन आई हैव कंप्लीटेड दिस कंटूर okay so now it has become new contour so new contour i am naming it c dash my original contour is c this is the original for which i want to find out the i this is my own contour which i have made modified so c dash is modified modified contour okay and it is a complete contour so for the complete contour for this the integral will become how much or not the integral because my original integral is something else i will not name it integral so i will name it like this the same function same function fz dz i will integrate on c dash this is my closed contour c dash understood so that will be 2 pi i into residue understood now tell me because this c dash is you can say c dash is equal to contour c plus line from here to here this line i can name as this line i can name as ab plus line ab you understood it my complete contour c dash is equal to original contour c that is open contour c plus this line this line extra i'm adding okay so that's why my left hand side will be what this left hand side will be and over this because what is the meaning of this integral this complete function i have to move on this fz function i have to move on all the complete contour so from here to here i am moving it on the original contour c and from here to here i am moving this fz on this line okay this is the meaning of c dash so it means what this i can write original contour c f dz dz plus this line also i have to write integral of that line is integral because that line is for this line for this line z equal to x plus i y will become x only because it is a real axis because here y value imaginary value on this line is zero understood so z can be converted into x so it means what i can convert fz dz as fx dx and integrate that from minus 1 to plus 1 because x value is minus 1 to plus 1 so that will be the left hand side equal to 2 pi i into 0 why 0 see the function this function is fz is z square e to the power z so this is completely analytic and analytic portion does not give me any because in the lorentz series coefficient of 1 upon z will give me the residue na but here 1 upon z term will not be there because this is z square e z this will give me just taylor series not the lorentz series principal part so that's why because fz dz is z square e z it is analytic in nature so residue will be zero Residue B one will be zero because no Lorentz uh, term are there. 
so that's why this is equal to zero understood so note down it up to here you have to understand it very well whatever i taught if you want again i will explain again if you understood then note it down i will go forward note down this Sir. Everybody understood, na? Okay, good. So now it is easy to follow. See here. So because this is my original, what I want. F Z D Z will be equal to because this side is zero, so that will be minus of integral minus one to one f x dx. And what is f x dx? Because my f z is f z is how much? Z square e z. So f x will be just in place of z put x. So that will be x square e to the power x. So just put it here and integrate. That will be minus one to one. Uh, sorry, x square. Why I am putting z equal to x? Because it is a real line, and at real line, z will be equal to x that I have shown here. X square e to the power x dx. Now this you have to integrate. So this is a two, uh, मतलब two two function integration. You know two function integration. Suppose integration of u v, u into v. So what you have to do? Do the first in uh, for the first term. Uh, this one will be as such integral of v, then minus differentiation of first one. And double integration of second one, then plus double differentiation of first one, triple integration of second one, and like this you will go when your this one is finished. Means uh, first term is finished because by the differentiation it will be finished. So here it is two uh, x square, so that will be finished in three term. So that method I will apply here. So that will be minus of x square as such. Integral of e to the power x same minus differentiation of first term to x integral of that e to the power x and uh, again plus double differentiation of that to x and two e to the power x then limit minus one to one okay then put the value minus of That will be x square e to the power x means e to the power one minus twice e to the power one and uh, plus twice e to the power one. Then take minus one minus of here it will be plus one only and it will be e to the power minus one. Then. Minus minus it will become plus and again minus minus two into e to the power minus one and this will become minus of two e to the power minus one. So this much, this much we can simplify. So it will be. E minus two e plus two e means this will be cancelled, and e to the power minus one minus e to the power minus one minus two to the power minus one. So this will be four e to the power minus one. 
and mine so it's 5 5 2 3 4 where is 5 sir uh, mine plus 2 e power minus 1 will be there no Here. last term before term so both will be cancelled minus minus 2 plus 2e minus 1 minus 2e minus 1 sir This correct is... sir both are cancelled they will be cancelled no 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 here it is minus it check cancelled. check it again check it again it is minus only but 2 2 to the power of this so it will be minus of e Minus five e to the power minus one. Now it is okay, na? So answer will be five by e minus e. Any confusion here? No, sir. Clear. Okay. Note down this. so practice this question today two times i'm telling you okay if you practice then it will save your time because quickly you can do it i have explained it uh, slowly slowly but quickly you also you can do it and whenever analytic function is given na so no residue will be there because no pole is there so directly you can take residue is zero so in such type of question they always give you analytic function ओके ओके वन मोर क्वेश्चन सिमिलर टाइप इज देयर This is of net two thousand eighteen December. You have to understand the uh, question. What he is telling? Integral i equal to uh, contour e to the power z dz is evaluated. from point minus 102 10 along contour c which is an arc of parabola y equal to x square minus 1 the value of i is number 1 0 number 2 Two sine hyperbolic one. Number third, e to the power two i sine hyperbolic one. 
नंबर फोर e प्लस e माइनस ओके नथिंग एल्स इज गिवन सो दिस इज अ पैराबोला व्हाट दे हैव टोल्ड यू हैव टू गो फ्रॉम द पॉइंट माइनस जीरो टू माइनस वन जीरो टू प्लस वन जीरो थ्रू दिस पैराबोला सो दैट इज योर कंटूर सो सपोज दिस इज माय इमेजिनरी एक्सिस this is my real axis point i have to draw this point is minus 1 0 because this is on the real axis this point is plus 1 0 so from this point up to this point you have to reach and how you have to reach through a parabola so where that parabola will be this parabola is y is equal to x square minus 1 Understood. So, if you put x equal to zero, what will be the value of y at this point? What will be the value of y? If I want to check what is that parabola, that value will be minus one. It means my parabola is like this. Okay. and you have to reach from this point to this point means you have to start from here means this is your direction and this direction is anti clockwise so many information will be coming here so by the uh, by giving this line from that line only this much information you will get you can draw the parabola also you can uh, uh, draw the arrow also so that will come out from here because you are starting from minus 10 to 10 okay it means this is your contour so this contour is suppose c okay so this is the same question ditto what i have done uh, before that okay now i can make the complete contour because i know the i know the formula only for complete contour so complete contour for that will be what this will be your imaginary line this will be your real line and uh, this was your contour with the real line i can make it complete just i have to close it that's it that will be my complete contour just i have to close it so i can close it by the this hard line this hard line is my real contour this dotted line is the real axis but this is not included in the contour but here i am completing it so now this contour suppose it is now c dash so again this is minus 1 2 plus 1 0 so c dash will be how much open contour c plus line ab line ab so this much will be that okay so first note down it and again here also this is a real line you can say on real line z equal to x plus i y will be equal to x only so you can replace z equal to x because on real line y value will be 0 this value is minus 1 so this point will be 0 minus 1 if you want to say what is this point point is 0 minus 1 because x value is 0 y value is minus done so yes, okay so uh, what we can do here so your integral f dash f z dz because this is a closed integral now so for that f z dz will be 2 pi i into residue so this is on the c dash this is the close contour c dash is my close contour 
this c dash term i can break into two fz dz at c which is my required value plus this 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 term this line from a to b i can write it like this minus 1 to 1 you have to integrate fx dx because fz dz i can convert into fx dx because here no y value is there and that will be equal to how much zero because residue is zero why because my fz is e to the power z fz is e to the power z na which is analytic in nature no pole will be there fz e to the power z is analytic analytic means it is defined at every point it is not uh, yes uh, that line 1 to minus 1 or minus 1 to 1 can we take both no 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 sorry 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 actually i have to complete that contour na in that fashion so that line actually i must take one two sorry this is my mistake from here i will to go like this and i have to come like this okay so that line actually i have to take one to minus one okay uh, yes sir i did not observe that sorry so that i have to take plus one to minus one thank you ramon na Oh, sir. Huh? Premraj. Oh, Premraj. Okay, good. So, so this what I need to do now uh, because this is analytic. So here residue will be zero. So this is my original integral. What I want that will be equal to minus of Plus one to minus one f x dx in place of f z I will write f x so f x will be e to the power x dx that will be minus of integrate it e to the power x and limit plus one to minus one answer is minus of e to the power minus one and minus e to the power one so answer will be e to the power one minus e to the power Minus one. Okay. Now, so what will be okay? This is the answer. So what you can do here? E to the power one minus e to the power minus one. This you can convert because my answer is not in this form. Uh, some sign uh, because this is this this is not the answer. So some sign term can be there. So to make it sign hyperbolic, I need to check it more. So what you need to do? to make it hyperbolic just you just uh, multiply by 2 and divide by 2 so then it will become e to the power 1 minus e to the power minus 1 divided by 2 and that is known as sin hyperbolic if it is x then it will, it will be sin hyperbolic x but it is 1 sin hyperbolic 1 so answer is 2 sin hyperbolic 1 so that will be your real answer so two questions you have practiced it means you have understood now if any doubt still you can ask so this is your answer note down this sir yes sir uh, according to the question we are supposed to uh, find the integral for the curve only right for the yes for the curve portion only sir then uh, why we are not subtracting the uh, line portion because we are considering the closed integral over c no no ultimately we are subtracting only this this closed contour is what see here we are ultimately subtracting it we want this is our original contour na So C will be what C dash minus line AB that is going to right side and it is going to minus only. Getting it? 
Huh? Yes, complete C dash is zero. That is giving me benefit that it will become easy. If C dash is something, so from that it will be uh, subtracted, na? Plus one, minus one, fx dx to get this one. Understood? Yes, sir. So that is going that side. So that is uh, going minus only. See this. You practice it two times, then it will come to your mind and tell me tomorrow. What is your name? Sir Abhilasha. Okay. Yes, Manu. Uh, yes. Sir, is it uh, necessary that the line we are doing from plus one to minus one should be straight? No, no, no. Actually, line, line, that line part now. You have to see the by the completing the curve. That's why it is necessary. Yes. Like, sir, because I'm... because my curve is like this now nah? it is going like this like this so then it can go like this only so it will go from plus one zero to minus one zero definitely you have to take that uh, lower point is this upper point is this okay in earlier question also i have followed that that close curve you have to follow now nah? So in earlier question, the given question was like this. So I have to go through this, just draw it, extend it. So that's why I have to go from minus one zero to one zero. In the question, they have told that you have to get the answer starting from minus one zero to one zero, but that is only for parabolic part. But real part, whatever I have added just to complete this contour. So how to complete it? Because they have started from here and they have left it here. So I have to extra add where they have left. So I have to go this way only now. So that's why I have to integrate from one zero to minus one zero. This clue you will get when you draw the arrow part and you extend it. Okay. So these questions are very, very beautiful. So you practice them two, time, two times at least. So then you uh, it will come to your mind what to do. This is done. Okay. Okay, one more question is there. Integral i over close contour c dz by sine square z over the contour mod z equal to one by two. So how you will make this circle? This circle is On argent plane, you can make this is real axis, imaginary axis. So this will be half. Uh, means radius is half. Radius is half. So this side also it is half. So it is half high, and this side also it is half. This is minus half, and this point will be minus half i. This is on the imaginary line. Okay. So like this we can draw it, and zero will be the origin because from here zero is z zero. So z zero will be the this. So for that I need to find pole. So to get pole, just put denominator equal to zero, sine square z equal to zero. It means sine z equal to zero, and sine z equal to zero means it is sine and pi only. All will be zero. So it means z is equal to n pi. Okay. So n value will be 0, 1, 2, 3, so many. So poles are poles can be 0 plus pi minus pi plus 2 pi minus 2 pi. So many poles can be there. Okay. But 
now check which one is inside which one is outside if i take pi pi value is what 3.14 that is outside it means all these poles are outside so i will not consider them these are outside poles and cannot be considered to get the integration cannot be considered to get integral understood so we will not consider them only z equal to 0 we will consider so for that only we want to find out the residue residue at z equal to 0 pole so how to find residue for this so just uh, Lorentz series method also you can use by Lorentz series method So how to get Lorentz theory? For that you need to have a binomial also. So first note down up to here. direction is anti-clockwise so that you can take plus Okay, so Fz will be here. Fz is 1 upon sin square z. No? Now see, 1 upon, this is whole square. And what is the sin z? Sin z you can open up. Sin z will be 1 minus z square by factorial sorry 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 z minus na z minus z cube by factorial 3 plus z to the power 5 by factorial 5 and minus dot 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 like this so from here i can make it binomial for the binomial i need one minus something so to get 1 minus something, take z common from here. So that will be 1 by z square. Because when I, once I take z common, so because a square is here, so that will be 1 by z square. And what is left here? That will be 1 minus, you take minus sign common, 1 minus, what is left here? z square by factorial 3 and uh, minus z to the power 4 by factorial 5 and plus dot 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 so this box will work like x so it is 1 minus x to the power 2 okay so now it will go up in the denominator that power will become minus 2 so it will become 1 upon z square into 1 minus z square upon factorial 3 minus z to the power 4 by factorial 5 and plus dot 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 to the power minus 2 okay so the, uh, then it will be written as 1 minus nx like this so from here if you need to check uh, it will be 1 upon z square into 1 minus twice of first term i am telling you z square by factorial 3 minus z to the power 4 by 
and plus dot dot dot. This is the binomial I have opened and plus something that will be a big series. But uh, from the first term only I can see if I check here. So this first term will give me one by z square and this term will give me this term will give me two into z square to z square cancel two by factorial three. And again, that term will give me z square. So it means what? There is no B1 term. There is no coefficient of one by z. So from here, I can guess that residue is zero. So residue equal to B1 equal to coefficient of one by z. If I check from this whole, that is zero. So it means answer of integral will be 2 pi i into residue equal to zero. Okay, note down this. Okay. <clears throat> okay, one question for you all, whether you got it or not, just I want to test. Find integral. Z cube by z square minus phi z plus 6 dz over the contour twice into z minus 5 equal to 0. Okay, find this integral. Try everybody, okay, and tell me the answer. Uh, 
Yes, yes, yes. So minus 16 pi i is the answer. Everybody got it? Or should I do it? Got it, sir. No, sir. No. Why? Are you able to make the circle? See how to make this circle. This circle is 2z minus 5 equal to 0. So simplify it. It will be 2z equal to 5 or z equal to 5 by 2. Now it is clear. This is your radius. Origin is 0. So simply you can make it. This is imaginary portion, real portion. So origin is this. So it means what? It is 2.5. So 2.5 is your radius. So this point will be 2.5 i. This point will be minus 2.5 i. This point will be 2.5. This is on real axis. It will be minus 2.5. First of all, you have to make the circle. Okay, and uh, once nothing is told now, so then you have to take it counterclockwise. Means positive answer is automatic answer. Okay, so here Fz is what? Z cube divided by Z square minus 5Z plus 6. So to get the pole, to get the pole, what you have to do? Put denominator equal to 0. Denominator is z square minus 5z plus 6 equal to 0. So this thing I can segregate like this z square minus 3z minus 2z plus 6 equal to 0. So z common z minus 3 minus 2 common z minus 3 equal to 0. z minus 3 into z minus 2 equal to 0. So z equal to 3 and two are two poles. But once you check z equal to three is outside. This side is, this is the z equal to three. Outside pole. And z equal to two. This is second pole. This is inside pole. Okay. So residue for what you have to find out? Only for z equal to 2. So residue of z equal to 2 pole, you have to find out. So what method you will apply? Simple pole. It is a simple pole. So residue will be limit z tend to 2, uh, <coughs> z minus z0. z0 is 2. So z minus 2 into fz. fz you can write like this. Your fz is this one, na, z cube by this much. Now, in term of pole, I have to write this denominator. What are my pole? This, like this, I have to write it now. So, because that will be easy to use and one of them will be cut. So, it will become z minus 3 into z minus 2. Okay. So, it will be fz will be z cube by z minus 3 into z minus 2. So z minus 2 will be cut and then put z equal to 2. It will become 8 divided by 2 minus 3 is minus 1. So answer is minus 8. So integral will be 2 pi i into minus 8. That is minus 16 pi i. Got it? Okay. Okay. Now one more question they give and there you do the mistake. Again, I will tell you because sometimes they give you here a uh, 2z square or something, something. Okay. From that also, you have to make it uh, clear. You have to make it this term clear. Then you have to find out. Suppose it is 2z square here, just take 1 by 2 common, then everything, then you find out the poles and put it here. Okay, so 
this type of question can come so there also you have to uh, be extra precocious okay so let us stop here today <clears throat> huh? Hello? First page. Sir. Page number one. You want first page? This one now? Page one. Uh, yes, sir. So the course integration was there. Huh? First page, sir. This okay. Page number, page number one. So tell me what we have done up to now. This Z is the complex variable. So we have learned the method how to get the integral of the complex variable. Understood? So we are up to now we are uh, solving the problem in complex word. Understood? So just this is just this was to learn the methods of complex word to learn the basics of complex word but our main motto is to get the integral of real word so next class onward we will get the integral of real things like uh, integral of cos theta integral of cos square theta these are the real problems so for the real problem to get the integral we will convert the real problem into complex problem. Then we will solve that. Again, we will convert that into real answer. Understood? So up to now, we have done just for complex word. Now we will solve the problems in real world. So that will be our next uh, topic for that. So from next class onward, I will do that. Sir? Hello. Ah, bolo. Uh, if they are not giving the direction, that is counterclockwise. Yeah, yeah, they are positive, positive, positive. You can take. Okay, sir. Purposely they give clockwise. Mean means they want negative answer. Otherwise, if they don't give, just take positive. Okay, sir. So tomorrow class is the.